Hey everyone, it's possibly just days until doomsday and it's a face-off between Trump and North Korea with everything on the line. It's like a standoff in a card game in a James Bond film, except in a bizarre twist, Sean Connery has the most realistic hairpiece present at the card game. But uh, back to the latest threat, this time it's to nuke the remote US territory of Guam. And they're saying they want to create hell in the Pacific. And I think that's dreadful because Lee Marvin starred in a movie called Hell in the Pacific and it was awesome. And I don't want to bring Lee Marvin's name into disrepute, but cut to the chase, essentially, it's a scary time to live in Guam and I like World War II movies um, sort of in the same way that Radio 4 likes liberal sociology professors um, of course it's not just Guam um, if you live in North Korea it's also a pretty scary time too um, albeit largely for entirely domestic reasons and uh, as an example here's a North Korean joke for you know um, why did the chicken cross the road the answer is he didn't there are no chickens the government ate all the chickens and soon you'll be forced to die in a war procreated by the apparatus of the state and um, yeah I know it loses something in a translation I suppose you know say what you will about American foreign policy at least the US gave us folk like Louis C.K. Seinfeld Richard Pryor Chris Rock and Tina Fey and not to mention Al Gore in his latest comedy film go see it it's hilarious and I'm joking of course um, anyway see you next week and uh, one last thing I noticed that I've now got 100 subscribers so I'd like to say thanks for everyone that's clicked the red button uh, obviously not in the nuclear red button sense uh, neither Trump nor Kim are subscribers as far as I know and uh, anyway I've set up a website to upload these doodles to so take a look in the description if that's something you're interested in and uh, otherwise see you all next week bye <laughs>